Hey everybody, good morning. Actually, it's just a little bit afternoon now. Um, I think it's the 17th um, and uh, 17th of February and uh, just got done doing a little bit over at Anytime Fitness here in Lake Wales. Um, so I trained even despite the uh, chemo, and I'm forcing it, believe me, um, despite the chemo on Wednesday, uh, I trained five days this week, starting on Monday, and um, that was after a really, really good leg day on Saturday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I was hurting uh, from doing legs. Um, so I guess the update is uh, that that Wednesday chemo kind of got to me a little bit this morning. I think it was the chemo. I don't know, maybe just friggin' old age or something, but um, not feeling too good today uh, so far. A little bit of chest pain, a little bit of an unsettled stomach, uh, a little tired, but um, I definitely wanted to get out and see what the effect of um, pushing some weight was gonna be and um, and it actually I feel a little bit better now that I got in there and did a little bit did some uh, chest press did some seated rows and um, some bicep curls just to kind of get things working my biceps are like just seems to me like um, biceps have taken the hit and and shoulders have taken a hit more than any other body part um, legs too to some degree but man um, so that's what I'm working on trying to focus on some of the weak points and as I see weak points arise I kind of go back at them maybe a couple times a week now that I'm in five five days a week or six days a week um, so no shortage of desire here uh, maybe a little shortage of feeling great but um, that's about it so all's well next week I go back in for uh, more blood work following week blood work and talk to the doctor um, I think I might have said yesterday my um, my blood work my last blood panel came back really really well um, there was a concern with my kidneys several months ago as well like they had me like stage two stage three kidney failure I'm like I'm like where the hell did that come from and um, I kind of know where that came from. It was uh, when I was in a lot of pain over the summertime. I had taken a lot of a leave, and um, that kind of set me back a little bit. Um, however, um, my kidneys are actually looking really good now. Filtration is great, um, and my kidney health is good. So where they said that that would not bounce back, um, it seems to have bounced back. So all is not absolute. In, uh, in this medical world and um, make each day the best we can make it and uh, today I think I'm out early enough I might just run over to uh, Polk County Courthouse and try to get my um, passport taken care of something I gotta do we're planning a little bit of a trip in June so um, gotta get that done and that's about it. That's the that's how I'm going to sum it up today. Again, thank you all for listening. Please do uh, like and subscribe if you can. I mean, if you're bored with it all, you don't really want to listen to it. I understand. Uh, it's not really everybody's thing, but um, it's just an interesting roadmap that I'm following, an interesting path that I'm following, and to me anyway, and to a lot of people with prostate cancer, um, and we kind of see. Um, of things and what, what we can do to overcome some of our feelings. So um, I appreciate the, uh, the likes and the subscribes. I appreciate the shares. Um, and I will come back at you some point next week, maybe after my blood panel. Uh, I don't want to bore you all with this stuff, but thanks again for listening. Have a great weekend. And Kenyon Sandy signing off. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks.